On completion of this chapter, you will be able to create a contract request, select your iProcurement responsibility. You will now be looking at the shop tab within iProcurement. Select Contract to Request submenu from the Shop Home page. Click the drop down menu from the Type field. Select Rate Based Temporary Labour. Click the magnifying glass for a job field. Input E% percent into the search field and then click the Go button. Quick select Engineer. Note this will automatically enter a description in the Job Details field. Enter your contact details within the contact information field. The start date field will default to today's date. Change this where applicable. If a change of date is required, use the calendar to the right to select the correct date. For the purpose of this exercise, leave it as today's date. Enter an end date where applicable. For the purpose of this exercise, leave the end date as blank. The requester field is completed automatically with your name since you are completing this requisition. The location will be default location. This can be changed where applicable. If the engineer is required to work at a particular site or area, the location could be changed to reflect this. For the purpose of this exercise, leave the location field as it is. Where there is a need for special skills or particular work experience, this information can be noted in the fields within the temporary labour region of the page. This is also the miscellaneous notes for any information you may want detailed. Click the continue button. You are now presented with the supplier information where you can add notes to the supplier where applicable. Select the used preferred supplier option within the supplier information region of the page. You can also enter the first and last name of the suggested contractor. This is not mandatory. For the purpose of this exercise, leave these fields blank. Within the rate and budget information region, complete the following details. Select day in the unit field. Enter 10 as the quantity in the estimated quantity field. The target rate field will be pre-populated with an hourly rate of 75. Change this to 350. Enter 3500 in the labour amount field. You would enter an amount into the expense field if you are allowing an amount for meals or mileage. For the purposes of this exercise, leave this field blank. You would check the allow rate differential to allow overtime pay. Leave this unchecked. Click Add to Cart button. You are taken directly to the Shopping Cart page. Check the information is correct before proceeding. Click the Checkout button. Enter Unique Requisition Description into the Requisition Description field. Click the Next button. There is no other approval required based on the approval authority for this requester. Click the Next button. Review the details of the requisition. Click the Submit button. The requisition confirmation page is now displayed. Click the Continue Shopping button. The main shop page is now displayed. You will see the requisition you have completed within the My Requisitions region of this page. Note the status of the requisition which shows you are approved or pending this means that the requisition is approved but there has not been a contractor assigned to it yet. Once a contract has been assigned or selected, to update the requisition, click on the description link. You will see the Assigned Contractor button. Click the Assigned Contractor icon. Complete the relevant fields within the contractor's details. Enter a surname of Smith and the first name of Harvey. Click Apply. Proceed to checkout. Submit requisition. Return to shop page where you will see the status of the requisition is now shown as approved, assigned. You have now learnt how to create a contract request.